Okay guys, um, awesome swimming there. We've just did the Skins event. Um, how have you enjoyed the Stockport Open meet so far? Uh, yeah, it's been good so far. Uh, this morning, two and a half was pretty good. Uh, tonight's two and a half wasn't too good, but some good solid racing there with Jimmy and Tom. It was a nice way to finish the day. So. Yeah. I could see James as well. I could see you with your legs up after each race. Um, it just shows what kind of a competitor you are. You know, you love racing. You don't like getting beat, obviously. And I could see your face at the end. Like, what did that, what did that race kind of mean to you there? You know what I mean? I've done the skins before back in 2013. And I did the same tactic then. Like, legs up, rest of the legs. And trying to kind of get as much rest as you can between each, each, each race. But uh, Patrick's my worst stroke. But to race, Jojo's a great lad. And I've known his family for a long time. But 
good racing here in Stockport has been a fantastic meet so far. I mean, obviously there's been some good, good, good fast swimming, and it's great to be here again for like the fifth time. So I love it. Yeah, awesome. Um, there's been a lot of juniors here actually. Like the age is so so young, um, and I remember swimming as a junior. You're a local lad, just half an hour down, half an hour down the road. Um, just kind of looking back, both of you, when you were that young, when you were like 13, 14, 15, what did these kind of meets mean to you? Like going through that, them early stages to where you are now? Yeah, I used to always enjoy racing all the time. Yeah, I'm like Jimmy, I hate losing. Uh, and that's what every great summer should be like. You should never want to lose. You should always want to win. And I've always been like that since I was a young. These meets now are always harder to come to because as you get older, it's obviously racing's a lot harder. Yeah. But like back then, it's great and still now it's good to come here come in these solid times and get ready for the target meet in December. Yeah, how about you James? I mean for myself I remember being like a 10 year old boy doing this meet and it was long course back then I remember that and uh, obviously like kind of moving down to Millfield and doing this meet every single year it was always an excitement to come to this meet because it's a, a trek away from us it was an important meet you start the season kind of see where you're at and I remember doing the distance events on the Friday night before and kind of see where I'm at but obviously I'm in good shape now and I feel fit and strong heading towards next year's World Championships. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great to see so many juniors here and, I, you know, I'm from Stockport, you know, it's, it's the, a club that I love and we really grow them from grassroots and all the way to the Olympians. I mean, it's kind of a cliche question, but it's only kind of because you guys have been at that junior level, you've trained at your local clubs, you've gone to the, you know, to the top, top levels, James, world champion, Joey, right at the top of the nationally and representing Great Britain as well. Is there any kind of like advice or a couple of things that you can think of past, you know, in your, in your career, throughout your career that you could, you know, bits of advice that you could give the juniors? Uh, yeah, just never give up. Like. Everyone's going to have those moments in their career where they're going to want to not get out of bed, not want to train. But if you can overcome those uh, little moments in your career, it's, when it gets to the like the big meet and you achieve what you want to achieve, it's all worth it. And even if you've done thousands and hundreds of thousands of meters throughout the year, once you've done that meet and you've got the medal you wanted or you've got the time you wanted, you don't even think about that. You just think about what's coming on and what's next. Awesome. Awesome. No, I agree with you. I mean, I think being a a young boy being a local lad around here doing these meets, um, it kind of, it's a stepping stone. I remember obviously my dad was a massive part of my swimming and your mum was a massive part of yours and your family as well. So kind of taking us to the meets everywhere and being at such a young age, kind of competing in that, it, was, um, it helps where I am now. Because I don't think if, if I hadn't done the work when I was younger, I'd be where I am today. And I think you guys are the same. Um, kind of these stepping stones we have to take when we are young kids. And you're kind of being, I think you have to be, work hard, get, listen to your coach. and. If you're not going to do the hard work, then there's no point in doing it because you're not, you're not going to get anywhere. And that's, that's a true fact. I mean, when I was 12, I was struggling quite a little, a little bit in my swimming career and I was plateauing a little bit, but I kept going, kept, kept pushing on. And look where I am today. You know, everyone goes through hard times and you've got to keep going. Just ne never give up and keep going and do everything right you can outside of the pool as well. That's a great advice. Thank you very much for taking the time, guys. Really appreciate it. Swim down? I want, I've got an award. <laughs> you got an award. Forget the swim down.